Hey guys, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. Today's video, I am about to show you guys how to make the most delicious thebomb.com seafood rice. It is so good, you guys. I am telling y'all. And if you're new here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's just dive right in. Alright, to get started, I am about to melt my butter. Once that is melted, I am going in with my shrimp. I marinated the shrimp with a piece as well as some Creole seasoning. If you do not have a piece, you can just use your favorite seasoning. Just marinate that shrimp up, okay? Real good. Once you are done with that, we're going to cook it for about two minutes in total. Each side, one minute know what I'm saying once you're done with that once it's nice and cooked on each side it's not gonna fully cook it's just one one minute just take them out just to give them some nice color okay once that is done take it out we're going to add our water in now I will leave a little bit of information on how to cook rice if you don't know how much water to add and now what I just added was some garlic some minced garlic you can also fry it if you want, but I just throw that in there. It doesn't really matter. I love the garlicky flavor on my seafood, so I add the garlic in there. Next, I am going to add some more water. Like I said, for the measurement of the rice in the water and everything else, they will be down below in the description box. Now, I am going to add about one teaspoon of creole seasoning one teaspoon of old bay seasoning and i am going to add um what is it ground black pepper i will add salt as well i don't know why i'm shaking this <laughs> i am going to add salt as well right in there and then i am going to add well stir it up before i add the rest of the stuff just give it a quick mix alrighty I went in there and add a little bit of more butter next because I just love over season everything that's how everything tastes good to me I am going to add some more Old Bay seasoning onion powder I already have garlic in there so I don't need to add any garlic powder just just add your seasoning in there okay you want this seafood to taste like seafood that Old Bay need to be in there now I am going to add my crabs I am using king crabs as well as my shrimp in there and I am going to let the water comes to a boil then I will add my rice. My rice is nice and clean. It's jasmine rice, by the way. Just add that in there. And by the way, my crabs are fully cooked. I just want the flavor of the old bay in there. That's why I add it into the water. Okay, not after my rice is cooked. Because you want that juice, that that juice <laughs> in there. Once that is boiling and your water is nice and dry, well. I added a little bit more butter Shh, don't let anybody know because it's just I just love the flavor of butter by the way it helps the rice to not burn at the bottom as well so yeah and then we're going to cover it for about 15 minutes once it is done this is what you got you got yourself the most delicious seafood rice you'll ever taste it in your life you don't need no gravy for this rice it's nice and juicy <laughs> this is it you guys i really hope you guys enjoy it if you did let me know down below subscribe if you're new thumbs up the video more videos coming by the way you guys i just created a new channel basically our family's channel if you want to see me outside of you know cooking videos please go subscribe everyone thank you in advance and please do not forget to comment there will be more videos there as well thank you for watching i love you guys so much stay blessed and i'll see you guys on my next one